Jacks, Dinkies, Hawkers. Well, I was I was asleep at the time due to seasickness, and then obviously when I woke up, the skipper was showing me videos of it on the Monday morning. I never seen a thing, never seen a thing until he showed me videos of it and told me that the boat a boat sunken right next to us, and I couldn't quite believe him. And then he showed me the videos, and there it was. All their bags with their clothes and their passports and stuff like that, and all their toiletries and things like that. So they were just flinging them onto our boat when they realised theirs was going down. So the boat was fed here to you away, and then that was it. Within the space of 20 minutes, it was gone. They knew they they knew I had never been in a boat before, so they just showed me the ropes for the start. Who, who would ever land on the boat? Uh, there was four Sri Lankan boys on the boat. And then there was another boy for Fraserburgh, and then the skippers for Fraserburgh. So, was that curry? This one, the curry you were eating on the boat, was that? Oh, I never ate any of that. No. What about the guy from Fraserburgh? Do you have it? No, no. Just the Sri Lankans, because that's just the way they, their culture, the way they eat. What can you describe what the curry was? It was like mackerel curry, just chunks of mackerel, the eyes and the head, and it was all just put in a pot and put in a curry. And they were just sitting eating it, but no, it wasn't for me, like. And was Jim keen for you to do stuff with the horses, or is that just uh... No, yeah, I've always, I've always been keen on horses. Horses is just such a, a kind of thing you assimilate with land. Aye. And a boat's just, you wouldn't put two together it's like it's at all. It's chalk and cheese kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. I would like to think I know a horse inside out. Me and my uncle was the first lorry ever to bring horses out of Ireland and when you talk to travelling boys, I met travelling boys out in the beach out there and they were saying oh, I don't know about horses but my father used to do this and Ken, I says oh that's a, a, a I says, did you know pick up half of my land? No, no, no uh, I says you, you can get a loving at it oh no we never bother, we never get, so that was the diversifying away for the fact that gypsies and that like it. The, off, the offsprings of them are, are no, they're not the same to be honest with you. They've got a fast car now and that's all they're interested in is a fast car. Don't mong in front of the gadji. He joins every word you're saying. I was near long way to the army and hardly any money. Money was going keen quick. And I says to my Paul, any chance I get a lot? So he got a shot in a boat. And then uh, he asked the boy if I could come, so I went away with him. Like years ago, before drugs was really acceptable, they spent their money in fast cars and that, and they'd fly about Fraserburgh. When we started going to fishing, fast cars was mostly out, it was just dogs that were buying. Punk of chat with Kobe, Fiji's in the horn, they said, oh, come in here, Jigger. That just means the Bobby's coming with a big fucking bar, boom. Hey, Dollar Chat. Punk of Kumi. I need a beer now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they're hauling up uh, the combination wire through the rollers and all that. And before you do that, when you're towing, you have to put on a big chain to take a slack off the wire, so it's on the boat. So just as I was about to take a chain off so we could start uh, rolling up the combination, the shark cover was there. Uh, holding the chain, I'd broke. And I, I was just away to take it off, so I had my hands on it, so I just threw them over the side, hit me in the throat, and then I was hanging on to the boat. So I went, help me, help me, and all I could see was a propeller. So they started hauling it up, and a couple of guys just hauled me over the side. <laughs> that was pretty mental. That's it, that's it. Wooden check. Oh 
MAS BEKI